This is the Atwater Prairie Chicken National Wildlife Refuge. And folks have shown up at the annual Atwater's Prairie Chicken Festival for a rare glimpse at one of the most endangered birds in North America. And I got him in the scope now. Oh, he's got his, his tufts erect. He's, he's going into his dance. Oh, fantastic. Over a century ago, the coastal prairies of Texas and Louisiana were home to almost a million Atwater's prairie chickens. But as habitat turned to farmland and Houston and other cities grew, the coastal prairie shrank. Now less than 1% of pristine coastal prairie is left, and this refuge is one of the Atwater's last strongholds. It's been teetering right on the, the brink of extinction. Over the last uh, 15, 20 years, there have been fewer than, than 100 individuals in wild, wild populations. And for a species that only lives on average of two years, that's a very bad place to be. You know, there are endangered species all over the rest of the country and the world, but this one here lives only in Texas, and it's part of the natural heritage of, of Texans. We just found a nest. It's the fourth uh, nest that we found this season. She's extremely well hidden. She's in very, uh, very dense cover, and uh, that, that's a good thing. That means uh, hopefully predators won't see her either. With some rebar and some metal fencing, the team is here to set up what they call a predator deterrent fence to protect that nesting female. The predators are, are moving through the grassland. The idea of this predator deterrent fence is to deflect predators away from the nest area so that hopefully they won't find the nest and destroy it. Got it. The fence doubles the chances of survival for the mother and her brood of chicks. You do kind of keep in mind that, you know, the whole time you're working, there's a bird in there that's, you know, struggling for survival, basically. So you want to build a fence that's going to hopefully work and give them a little bit better chance at surviving. There's word that one of the female's nests... So where was that exactly? ...has been destroyed. Oh, okay. Oh, man, we got... We got eggshells and the nest bowl's been disturbed, so it's been predated. Oh yeah, the yeah. eggshells everywhere. Yeah, something's really, really dug it up. Oh. She put up a good fight yeah, though. Yeah, she's little feathers everywhere. Poor thing. To help the moms and these newly hatched chicks that are just two weeks old. Go ahead and clean the pans. The hen and chicks stay in a protective brood box, an enclosed refuge with an all-you-can-eat buffet of veggies and bugs. And there are grasshoppers, katydids, beetles, but mainly grasshoppers. Um, those make really good chick food. Once the chicks have, have hatched, uh, conditions have been so dry that uh, the young chicks are having difficulty finding uh, insects to eat. Just call out the numbers so we make sure we get all 14. This breeding season so far, we're starting to notice that it seems to be getting a little bit drier. It's been very windy this spring. So we're a little bit concerned about how the chicks are going to fare. It should be all of them. The young chicks get a final weigh-in as their release into the wild is now just days away. 26.9. We like to weigh them just to make sure that they are indeed getting enough food and metabolizing it correctly and Last putting one. on weight. One more. Okay, it's time for them to, to take off on their own now. They've had their two weeks of head starting and they're looking pretty good. Yep. It's fun to see every couple days they change and they get noticeably bigger, their feathers get more um, obvious and colorful, they've gained weight, they're looking healthy. Hopefully they'll have what it takes to survive. 
we feel good. We got them here to, to this this point, um, but at the same time, we're a, we're a little anxious as well. I hope they can do it. They're really going to have to be on their uh, best of their game if they're going to make it to the point where they'll have a chance to reproduce as well. While these birds are struggling in the wild, the team has an ace up their sleeve. Head looks good, mouth looks good, so she's good to go. Several facilities raise endangered Atwater's prairie chickens as part of a captive breeding program. She looks in good shape, feather condition is good adding birds from the captive breeding program has allowed us to keep birds in the wild through the last uh, 10, 15 years. Okay, she's ready to go. Without the captive breeding program, uh, this species undoubtedly would have been extinct by now. These juvenile prairie chickens are color banded, radio collared, pretty bird, and ready for the refuge. It's a long journey to their new home, as these captive birds are for now the lifeblood for this entire species. Okay, okay. She's in good shape. Ready to roll, aren't you? Working with an endangered species, it, especially the arguably the most endangered bird in North America, you know, it has its ups and downs. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, a little bit disappointing. Things don't go quite as well as you want, but it's also rewarding when things do. So I think everyone would agree it's worth it. Doesn't she look good? Mm-hmm, she does. How many other species can we watch go extinct before it starts making a, a difference in, in the ability of the world to support us as a human species? And, and we don't know that answer. After two weeks of acclimating to their new habitat, it's time for these young birds to venture out. All right, little birds, go be wild. All this work, the struggles throughout the breeding season, it's up to these young Atwaters to help save the species. Oh, yeah, see, freedom. While not all of the birds that we release are going to survive, we know that, but those that do survive uh, represent the future. Their offspring hopefully will be better able to survive and reproduce in the wild on their own. You know, we will continue to build the population with those wild individuals and, and that's where we place the hope for the recovery of, of, of the species. Mm -hmm.